So if you have rosacea and acne, can you treat them at the same time? Yes. Okay. So usually a lot of times people will have acne here. Uh, it could be interspersed in this area. But I, I totally agree. Sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference because right. acne can be very red. Number one determining factor is telangiectasia, okay? The presence of dilated capillaries. So you could have really red acne and not have that present. But let's just say it's really hard to tell the difference. If you were to use duality on rosacea, you actually might improve it. Right. So because of the retinoids and also the benzoyl peroxide is anti-inflammatory. Now, one thing that I want to mention about rosacea, this is really important. So I don't want to forget to say this. You really need to get it officially diagnosed. And it's not right. that there aren't a lot of options that you can do at home topically. You need to get it officially diagnosed. And the reason why is because in roughly 47% of individuals that have facial rosacea, they have ocular rosacea. Oh. Now, ocular rosacea could be, it could be mild. You know, it kind of looks like maybe you have seasonal allergies. Sometimes your, your eyes are, are red. But it can also be much more progressive. And sometimes they kind of interchangeably call it blepharitis. So what you want to make, the reason you want to make sure you get diagnosed, just be on the safe side, is that there are cases where if it's left untended over long periods of time and it progresses, it could possibly lead to blindness. Wow, <clears throat> that's serious. So, so and it's easy, it's easily treated for the most part. Blepharitis, okay. sometimes it can be stubborn, but usually it's pretty, ocular rosacea is pretty easily treated. And my mom had rosacea, and I remember that 